Name a food that makes you think of ulala just by looking at it. Caramel? Donuts. 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 Makes you think of ulala. Sometimes. Bonjour, I'm Simon Marcel, romance expert. As a Frenchman, I love to talk love. J'aime parler d'amour. So I'm pulling couples off the streets and into my bed at the Broadway Mall in New York to get uncomfortably candid about their relationships. All right, guys, we're gonna play a little game. We have surveyed here in the mall about 100 people. Now it's your turn to answer my survey. What food do you think of as a aphrodisiac? Chocolate. Whipped cream. Whipped cream. Oysters. Chocolate. Lobster. You say lobster. You say mango. The survey shows 73% said chocolate. 19% then said oysters. Oh, that's a good one too, yeah. There is amino acid in the oysters, and that increases the testosterone and the libido. We ask 100 shoppers, what's the most romantic item you could buy your partner? Lacy lingerie. A nightgown with frills. Flowers. I would say some type of jewelry. I would say jewelry. I feel like lingerie. She's right on. 61% <laughs> said lingerie. The second one was card, a card. And number three, the toys. Flowers didn't even get in there. Nope, lingerie. I get for men. Is that, it's also a turn on for women? Yeah, I think so. The lingerie goes a long way, but don't forget just a card. And you write something very personal, it can be very ooh-la-la. We asked 100 people who are employed, name a place at work where you can go discreetly to ooh-la-la. I guess like a supplies closet. The stairwell. The stairwell? I go ooh-la-la in the stairwell. Probably a closet behind the boss's desk. Boss desk came number three at 23%. Yeah. Good job, bro. There you go. <laughs> As we say in France, il n'y a pas d'amour sans preuve d'amour. There is no love without proof of love. Au revoir. As a Frenchman, I love to talk love. J'aime parler d'amour. So I'm pulling couples off the streets and into my bed at Chicago's Block 37 to get uncomfortably candid about their relationships.